Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to weave an oval base for a basket similar to this one. Before weaving an oval base, we will need to make a drawing with the layout of all the stakes. I prepared an oval mold for a basket by wrapping a couple of 2 liter jars with the cupboard. Take a sheet of paper and trace the mold around using a pen, a pencil or a marker. The length of my oval is 26 cm. Its width is 14.4 cm. Now we need to divide the oval into four equal parts. Divide the width by 2 and plot it on the paper. In my case, it's 7.2 cm. Draw a line through this point all along the length of the oval. Divide it by 2, for my oval it's 13 cm. And draw another line through this point along the width of the oval. We've got a midpoint. Measure 7.2 cm to both sides of the midpoint along the length. Basically, we need to inscribe a square into the oval. Now let's calculate how many stakes we'll need to place within the square. The optimal distance between the double stakes is anywhere between 1.5 and 2 cm. The length of the inscribed square side is 14.4 cm, which equals to the width of the oval. If we divide it by 8 stakes, we'll get 1.8 cm between the stakes, which is perfect. Plot 8 equal segments, each 1.8 cm long. For this particular design of my basket, I need an odd number of stakes in the inscribed square. I am marking the center line, which will be the place for the central stake. Plot the points along the curved side of the oval with approximately 1.8 cm between them. Draw the lines. Repeat this step on the other side of the oval. The template for the oval base is ready. Let's start weaving the base. Take 9 dry stakes and 2 moisturizing cured weavers. Place one weaver under the stake and the other over the stake. Cross them over and put the second dry stake in between them so that the top weaver went under the next stake and the bottom weaver went over the next stake. Thus, we are making a pairing weave. When you need to connect a new weaver, cut the old weaver at an angle. Look carefully at this picture. I show where exactly to make a cut, so that the connection was hidden from the front of the weave. And the second weaver. Cut the tiny corner off at the butt end of the new weaver, to make sure the edge of the butt is even. Put a drop of glue into the butt end of the new weavers. Thin the cut end of the old weaver down by pressing it between your fingers. Then make a kink in the middle with your nail. Fold the end of the rod and insert it as far as it goes into the hollow of the new weaver. Rotate the newly connected weaver a little bit to secure the connection. Continue weaving with a pair and weave. Check the weave against the drawing regularly to make sure the stakes are in the right position. All the nine stakes are woven around. Now we start weaving the second row. Take two weavers, cut a small corner off at the butt end of one weaver, cut approximately 3 cm at the butt end of another weaver to make a long point and connect the weavers. Fold them in half, making sure that the place where you connected them is approximately 1 cm away from the fold. I will be weaving counterclockwise, 
so I place the connected weavers around the rightmost stake and start making the pairing weave. Weave two stakes together on the sides of the base. Connect the new weavers as you go. Spread the stakes out on both sides of the base. In this video, I will show you two ways of adding the stakes. If you watched my previous videos, you already know how to add the stakes by cutting them at an angle and inserting them next to the existing stakes, just like that. Use the knitting needle to make space next to the existing stake. Insert the next stake with its cut surface turned towards the old stake. Otherwise, the cut surface may be seen through the weave, which will not look nice. Weave around one stake at a time. Press the weave down so that it was tight. Repeat the same step on the other side to make sure the weave is symmetrical.
Now I will show you the other method of adding the new stakes. Cut the stake at a right angle, bring the top weaver down and the bottom weaver up vertically. Put a new stake in between them and continue weaving. After you weave two or three rounds, the new stake added in such a way will be held securely in place. Continue weaving the base, adding the new stakes as needed. The number of stakes you need to add may differ from what I need for this basket. That's why I will not be describing the weaving process in detail. Just follow the drawing you made and check your weave against it frequently. The oval base of the basket is ready.